Hello. We are giving this problem, which asks us to convolve two discrete signals, as shown here. Also, this is the definition for convolving two discrete time signals. To know which point we start shift, we choose a start point and an end point. For start point, we take the most left one in both functions and add them together. And as well, for the end point, we choose the most right one and add them together. So the start point going to be negative 1 and the end point going to be 3. So the first point, which is shifting by negative 1, after shifting x of negative 1, negative m, the new points will be at point negative 1, we will have an amplitude at point negative 2, I'm sorry, we'll have an amplitude of 1, and at point 0, we will have an amplitude of negative 1. So to get y of n, we see if there is an overlap at each point. We don't see an overlap here, so the only overlap we see is at point 0. In, in v of m, we have 1, and in x of minus 1, minus m, we have negative 1. We multiply those together, we get negative 1. The next point is 0. So x of minus m, the new points will be at negative 1, we have an amplitude of 1, and at 1, we have an amplitude of negative 1. We see if there is an overlap, the only overlap we see is at 1. We multiply both amplitudes together to get y of n. So in this case, y of n equal to negative 1. So the next point is 1. x of 1 minus m, the new points will be an amplitude of 1 at point 0 and amplitude of negative 1 at point 2. We see if there is an overlap in both functions. Yes, we see an overlap. At point 2, we have an amplitude of 1, and at point 2 there, we have an amplitude of negative 1. Also, we see an overlap here at point 0 in v of m, an amplitude of 1, and also at point 0, an amplitude of negative 1. So, negative 1. A plus 1 will be 0. Next point is 2. x of 2 minus m. The new points will be at point 1 we have an amplitude of 1 and at point 3 we have an amplitude of negative 1. We see if there is an overlap. We see only one overlap which in this case at point 1. Both functions have an amplitude of 1. So we multiply those together to get y of n which in this case will be 1 times 1 equal to 1. The last point which is the end point, which is 3, x of 3 minus m. The new points will be, at point 2 we have an amplitude of 1, and at point 3 we have, an, uh, we have 0, and at point 4 we have an amplitude of negative 1. We see if there is an overlap. Yes, we see at point 2 on both functions have an amplitude of 1. So we multiply those together to get y of n, which equals to 1. So the last step is to uh, plot y of n, which is the output. So we basically take the results of y of n at each point and plot them. So at negative 1, we have an amplitude of negative 1, and at point 0, we have an amplitude of negative 1, and at point 1, we have 0, and at point 2, we have an amplitude of 1, and also at point 3, we have an amplitude of 1, and thank you.